Dr. H. M. Chandrakalaji is the professor and head of the Department of Chemistry, and uh, uh, he has been connected with UHB since October 2022. So, um, though uh, she uh, may not have done a lot of volunteering activity, but she has consistently participated in the morning session, put a question and uh, take participation in the discussion. So, with this brief introduction, you may welcome uh, Chandrakalaji. Over to you. Thank you, uh, As to we have two sharings today, please try to keep your sharing in continuous. Yes, I will publish. Yeah, yeah, sure. Then. Ah, Namaste. Namaste, Sharmila Didi. Namaste to all. Very good morning. Uh, as by I introduce myself, Dr. H. N. Chandrakala, HOD of Chemistry at Kalpatri Institute of Technology, Tiptur, Karnataka, about my family. We are three members in the family. My husband, Mr. Raj Shekhar, he is an agriculturist. My daughter, Monisha Eraj, 23 year old, completed her course and searching for the job. Our family stayed at Tiptur at my working place, which is 50 kilometers away from my native place. I started UHV journey with the UHV 1 online introductory workshop in the year 2022, October. Later, I did UHV 2 also. I understood the content of UHV from the above two courses, but self-exploration and inner journey started in UHV morning sessions. From 7th batch onwards, I was regularly attending the morning session. Before I started UHV journey, my life was struggling and suffering. I searching for the way to come out of this. After I joined UHV, my understanding level of my life is gradually enhancing. UHV gives more clarity to my life. Slowly, I am understanding the nature of love and my existence in nature. I understood that I am not a body. I self conscious unit and material unit body. Self is immortal and body is a temporary. To understand these two separate entity, exercise one and two helps a lot. Currently, my understanding level of my body and my conscious unit through this exercise one and two. Exercise one, observing the self by the self every moment. The step one, observing my imagination, desire, thought, and expectation. In the beginning, I was able to observe only the thoughts. Later, I developed my competent level to observe the thoughts, imagination, desire, and expectation. My thoughts are on the basis of my desire or a feeling. When I have a feeling about my, for example, uh, about my husband or a daughter, they are not competent enough to do this work. So I have to support them in the feeling of relationship. Then my thoughts are, my thought imagination developed the various possible way to help them. Suppose I have an opposition feeling that they are not fulfilling my expectation. Then my thoughts are developed with the opposition. They are not good. Earlier also they did the same. So my thoughts on the developed on the basis of my feeling. I also observe myself every moment, uh, not in the every moment. Definitely keep myself while uh, observing myself all the moment, keep myself cool and calm with the good relationship with all. But I can't be a pure observer all the time. I flow with my thoughts and I having a conflicting thought sometimes. At that time, I try to analyze why I am getting a conflicting th thoughts. I analyze the, the feeling behind in it. Earlier, sometimes I am not productive in my work or the activity. I was failure to notice the feeling behind in it. Nowadays, I can notice quickly and try to solve the, uh, the problem or issue immediately. 
also sometime when i am unhappy because the things are not not happen according to my wish i observe that i am not feeling comfortable and by the time even i get up early in the morning i started to do the work i cannot complete my work within that time so because of that the feeling which is there within me that the thoughts are i am flowing with the thoughts i cannot be focus on my work nowadays i am not observe only my feeling i can betterly understood the feeling of others also their disturbance their incompetent helplessness also this helps me to maintain our relationship and mutual fulfillment in the relationship these days i enable to keep myself i able to keep myself calm and harmony most of the situation even the situations are not favorable not go according to my expectation but it is also true i am not calm and happy always i disturbed with the external situations step 2 i can evaluate my feeling whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not i am also able to notice that when the feeling is not naturally acceptable and conflicting thoughts are going i don't want to continue with the imagination i try to stop it if my imagination gives happiness i would like to continue it clearly shows that my innate nature is always want to be happy so i don't want to continue with the conflicting thoughts evaluating my feeling keeps me in a right track it helps me to rectify my mistakes maintain my relationship after i joined this uhv i am not wish to put anyone to be in the trouble even though they trouble a lot in my life gradually i am moving towards the accepting the people as they are step 4 who decide the feeling on what basis the decision is taken i decide the feeling the feeling of relationship feeling of happiness or opposition the basis of decision is either understanding or precondition precondition or assumption this is very important step for me i am a kind of a person i want to be a good and i want to do my work also the best even though i put an effort to execute the work if someone comment i felt so bad and feel unhappy and sometime i felt very sad when my father or any elderly person or my close friend they use a harsh word or behave with the harsh word with me even though i have an information that i am a decision maker because sometime my feelings are decided on the basis of my assumption precondition not with my right understanding the one month back my father told something to me because of my decision he lost some property i felt very unhappy at that moment but talk openly on that day why it happened so and what was the reason not to hurt to anyone while explaining the situation i am crying but able to talk openly with him the whole night i observe myself why i cried is my father is a elderly than me he should understand or give the more importance for the relationship rather than the property this is my assumption the elderly person have the the good understanding i also observe that earlier i was not talk openly either my mistake or maybe the mistake done by the other i kept myself silent and started to give the meaning like they are they should not do like that this is not fair so nowadays this kind of assumption are reduced i started to discuss the problem openly what is going on and really at that time it gives me a big relief not to carry it for a longer period 
Didi told in the discussion, we are come far we are not come forward to discuss openly because we are not competent enough to handle the situation and our conduct is not definite. In this step, I am a little bit better compared to earlier, but still I have to put my effort to improve myself or my right understanding. Steps 6a and b, which feelings are naturally acceptable to me? Here, I am sure or uh, I am, have a much clarity that the feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence is naturally acceptable to me. I can clearly observe my feeling when others like and dislike is not matches uh, whether it is matched with me or not. When it is matched with my life, I feel comfortable and happy. It is not definitely sometime I am not comfortable. Uh, for example, in front of our house, they make a petrol bunk and it is a residential area. I oppose us to make a bunk there because it is a dangerous continuous exposure of a petrol pollution cause a cancer. So it is not good for the, the health of the people who are living surrounding that uh, area. Finally, they established the bunk. My husband says that they made it in their place. Who are we to oppose? After this, I observe my feeling towards them. Not in harmony. It is not naturally acceptable to me. I also trying to accept their incompetent to understand the thing, but I am not successful. The step seven. I can able to see that my understanding level of relationship, harmony and coexistence is not completely. I, am, I have a discrimination with the people. I am not always have a relation with all. The 10 days back, my colleague, he put a two days leave without informing me. Those two days, we had a Women's Day celebration in the college. I am the in-charge person, take care of the program. When I saw his leave letter on my table, I called him to, to call to come to the college. But he was not pick the call. I cancelled the leave. Later, I involved in the program. Next day, one more faculty of our department in the night, she called me and uh, she asked the emergency leave. I grant the permission and uh, I cancelled the, all the classes and the lab of our department and I, I involved in the program. When I observed myself, I had a question that I felt so bad about the first person who put a leave without taking a permission and uh, the second person I grant the leave. Whether my ego is altered because he is not informing me or not follow the rules. This is how my contemplation is going on. So here I have to develop my right understanding level, accept the people without doubting their intention. All these seven steps help me a lot to understand my conscious unit. Exercise 2, observing the self and the body and the interaction between the two by the self. The step 1, I am there because I can able to see my thoughts, desire and expectation. My body also there because I can read uh, through the sensation. Step 2, I observe that I, the self, is not always interact with the body. It interacts only when it requires. When I am busy with my activity, I am not read the sensation. Sometime I am sitting in the department. I am sweating in this summer. But still, I am not aware. If somebody told that you are sweating, ma'am, you are not switch on that fan. Means, when I am busy with my thoughts and the self-activity, I am not read the sensation. Step three, I am the one who give the instruction to the body to read the sensation. I am not, I am not read all the sensation which are taken place in the body. For example, 
I had a class in the second floor. When I am climbing the stair, the students are moving by side. So many things are in front of me. But there, I observe the sensation of my knee, knee joint, because it is important for me. The step four, I can see that I am not the sensation and I can read the sensation of my body. Always my body sense organs are interact with the external world. The, the cause, uh, it causes sensation. I read the sensation whenever it is very essential. So even though the sensations are there in the body, the self is not in the sensation, means I am not the sensation because I can able to read the sensation. For example, I observe that I am standing on the railway station with the carrying luggage. I am waiting for the train. And when the train start to come to the station, I observe, I read the sensation of sound, the speed, etc. But at that time, I forgot the sen read the sensation of my leg or maybe hand where I carry the luggage. Means I can read the important sensation, uh, read the sensation which are important. So the sensations are in the body always. But the self, it treats the sensation whenever it is essential. So the self and the body are a different entity. The step five, most of the time I have a question, why I can't see the space? Why I can't experience the absolute energy? Why I can't think beyond my physicality? Because I can see external world, understand the external world. That means the units and nature their form, color, structure, etc. only through my sensation. The absolute energy as the space cannot be read by any one of the sense organ. So to see the these, the self should develop its competency to experience it. But for experiencing the external world for my survival, the sensations are very important. To, know, to understand the external world. Also, I read the sensation by my science car. Three days back, we were conducting a science day program. During the lunch time, one of our colleagues waited outside to meet me. And after I was talking with her, she told uh, it was getting late, so she can't go for a lunch to home. She wished to come with me. Actually, we were arranged the lunch only for the six members in the hostel. Immediately, I asked her to come with us, where I convinced the hostel people to give two meals extra. Here, the word spoken by my colleague, need a meal at that time. I respond to the, that sensation with my son's car. It is based on my understanding. It is in line with my natural acceptance. I feel comfortable. But sometimes I give the meaning based on my assumption. In the Women's Day program, we were organized the uh, sports activity for the faculty. By that time, while playing the game, my leg was twisted. I get a pain in my joint. So on that whole night, I observe my feeling. I have an assumption that maybe that ligament is there. Due to that, I am having a the pain like that. It is not so, but I am not getting a comfortable sleep. So I give the meaning for the sensation with my assumption. Step seven, I am in coexistence in a space. The body is in coexistence in the space. This step I have to explore. I am having a clarity in exercise one and two. Step number one to six. Yes, happiness is my innate nature. Nowadays, expecting the good feeling from others is gradually reduces. I am trying to develop my competency to face the situation. I am focusing more on myself compared to my body. 
gradually i usually i spend a more than 2 hours to develop my competence to uh, improve my right understanding level so with this understanding now i can handle the my family and family situation family members comfortably we are share our problems happiness openly there is a mutual happiness i can able to see in the family but still i have to work a lot to resolve my deep rooted sanskars before i joined to uhv i thought i have to change the others now i understood that i should change first rest will happen easily i understood that i am a i am in a right path i started my inner journey anyway but i have to travel a lot i also understood that what i know it is very very speck are a drop the unknowing is like a ocean uhv content and this journey made me more comfortable while working with a, any kind of a people uh, regarding the commitment sorry i am not doing that any volunteering activity i wish to do it this is the time i thought whatever the damage i did in the family i have to rectify thank you all thank you sharmila didi over to you bhaiya thank you thank you so much for putting up your sharing and thank you for putting in examples related to your family related to your workplace these are um, very common examples for many of us so thank you so much so so uh, uh, very uh, what that is called as sincere and thoughtful provoking and all experiential only one point i could see that mm-hmm. whenever your father was doing something but mm-hmm. still you were having the opposition Mm-hmm. but as far as myself is concerned and our self and body is related so mm-hmm. whatever is there the, mm-hmm. my father have done it mm-hmm. is always in my benefit so please uh, talk one minute on this thanks oh, thank you yeah but yeah, actually uh, uh, there is a some property uh, from my mother's uh, mm-hmm. that uh, i i and my brother finally decided to give it back because they spent some money for my marriage they yes, thought yes. that they want they they are not wish to give it to our my brothers so yes. i we people decided to uh, give uh, put a sign and give them back but my father we not wish to uh, get yes. want to want that property not give it them back so yes. that is the one issue with my father and uh, he has me openly on that day and i told that i give the more importance for the relationship rather than the property because they are not ready to give i want to maintain i want their relationship also that's why i did not to hurt anybody okay okay and, uh, but <laughs> didi but with your this uh, changes due to uh you also told that now you are not being uh, affected by others isn't it So no actually about. this was happened like a, a 15 years back but yeah uh, okay, i have yeah. that thought in the earlier yeah, but yeah. Uh, i i'm not spoken openly uh, because yeah. i don't know how to handle that situation yeah. with my father but you yeah. we give the courage to openly discuss yeah. with any matter no didi didi didi. very true it is just like our extended family thank you didi thanks a lot namaste sabhi ko yeah very much thank you very nice to hear your sharing very honest very you know you're making lot of effort for exploration um i think um the progress can be more also even though already i think you have made considerable progress considering that uh, you started with the seventh batch mm-hmm. and now we are at the ninth so uh, i think in this short duration of time 
you're making a lot of effort to sincerely try to see within you whatever is being discussed as a proposal form or in the steps. Uh, so I can see that not just repeating the steps, but you're actually trying to make effort to see things within yourself. Yeah. And I just want to mention for everybody that, you know, we talk of UHV leading to this. UHV is a medium. Ultimately, mm -hmm. it is our own effort, our own self-exploration that uh, is going to decide how fast we can or how quickly we are able to see things for ourselves, how uh, slowly we can progress towards being more calm, more happy, more comfortable within and having definiteness in our behavior. So several persons may feel that, you know, we have attended from so much time, but why is it not working? Um, so the more effort we put in, it's not just about attending the workshop, attending the sessions, but exploring within ourselves and seeing, trying to see that which is being discussed in ourselves so which i think you are making a lot of effort on and it's very nice to hear your honest sincere sharings um i suggest that you know if you can you said you are now open to volunteering is that what you were saying yeah 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 didi now it yeah. is uh, my condition is a little bit better compared to earlier i okay. said right i take a commitment dedicated like six one year for the family now they understood oh, nice. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. so um, maybe you can be in touch with Tara Bhaiya and others yeah. and uh, you know you can find according to what is suitable time for you uh, what kind of volunteering activity you would like to be involved in mm -hmm. I think it will be very useful because that makes you be close to the content um, yeah. you know, uh, more often and that helps in our own exploration and I think you may find that that is uh, helping you progress even faster so yeah. all the very best to you in your onward journey also that's thank you. thank you thank you thank you so much